Who wants to go for a balloon ride while we steal Confederate stuff? Hello and welcome to Civil War in Hindsight. I'm Lieutenant Tommy. With me as always is Prospector Johnny, and I apologize to start off with this because we are both sweaty messes. It is, it is hot. It's warm. It's warm. It is warm, Tommy. I feel bad for all uh, the soldiers having to dress in their not even full uniforms, just whatever the hell they're pulling together. Yeah, well, this is uh, your best. But yeah. my goodness, I, I I'm guessing there's no fighting done this week because good God, it's it's just too well, hot. Well, you you'd be uh, you'd be a little bit wrong. I did uh, we did get some more Confederate boats that are going to be taken this week with some more supplies, so I didn't have to wait for the end of the war. I got my absence from Louisiana thanks to the Union blockade. So here we oh, go. Oh, hot <laughs> damn! So oh, all right, so we're back on track. We've stopped attacking track. our own people. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And we are continuing to take Confederate equipment, Stuff. essentially. Yep, yep. I, I assume boats and supplies, whatever the boats oh, yeah, had on yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. So the good ah. news, Johnny, uh, this week is going to start on the 21st of June uh, with a convention being held in Greenville, Tennessee. And the results, are that the, east, uh, the results are that the eastern counties of Tennessee have declared that they are not seceding from these united states that they do not support the secession that they are they are in support of the union and in support of the constitution of these united there states there we go there There's we that, go yeah, tennessee we yeah. that eastern portion East, eastern of tennessee. Portion tennessee that's where it's at i love you eastern portion we've of tennessee. got the eastern portion coming. of tennessee the western portion of virginia sounds like hey let's build a state from from both of these guys here oh yeah we can name it yeah i love it Yep, 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 yep. On June 23rd, Professor Thaddeus Lowe is going to demonstrate the effectiveness of balloons when he's, he has uh, he scouts the Confederate positions along the Potomac, uh, Potomac River, where he gets up in his balloon with an artist, and they draw up from the air the entire Confederate line. Oh, my so God. We now That's have, amazing. We now have, we have the aerial? first aerial observation uh, in, the, in, the, in, in the United States ever, ever, How? ever. Oh, my God. That's amazing. That is so he's you. So he is. He can literally map out exactly where they are. Yeah, they just floated right up with, in, a, balloon with a balloon and yeah. a painter, and a painter or and a sketcher. I don't know. I don't know sketcher. what he's I think it was probably a sketcher. Probably, probably a sketcher. Uh, but in <laughs> any case, this is. I mean, this is some intel that there's like this is gonna it's, end it's, it quick. Change, this, is like, gonna that's change, gonna, this is gonna change war. Military is gonna, history yeah, is history. is being it, made. It, it made right now. Yes, military history is being oh, made. Amazing. Um, the, there is going to be some some criticism uh, to the War Department uh, from this because uh, what he does do when he's up in that balloon and he's observed, he realizes that there are new Confederate batteries that have been established along the Potomac River. Oh, so why did the War Department let let that happen? So, so he found he, he found, found some what new, actually found some was new, happening. Yeah, he found some and new, yeah. people didn't like that. They did, they did not like that. On the 24th, Union gunboats are going to shell some of these batteries at Matthias Point, Virginia, uh, while the USS Massachusetts captures four Confederate blockade runners off the Gulf of Mexico. Hence, I have my absinthe. Oh, yes, please. Let's yes. go. Also on the 24th, Lincoln is going to see the Ordnance Department demonstrate a new rifled cannon uh, and a new rapid-fired piece of artillery known as a coffee mill. This is a small... What? It's a, it's a What's big... What's it do? Well, it's a big gun. It's got kind of this crank system, and it and it fires multiple rounds. Um, and it's called a coffee mill because there's this kind of container that you throw these cartridges on top, and you just keep cranking it. Now, I'm skeptical of how it because f- how fast can it shoot? I, it allegedly, like twenty to forty rounds a minute. So this is pretty, uh, pretty no. impressive. That's, no way. Yeah, I don't believe. I haven't seen it yet, Johnny. <laughs> I, I haven't mean, seen it. Yet. I don't a, believe it. In break. That sounds it. like war propaganda. That's it does BS. I, There's I, no I was way not, yeah, anything was, can fire that fast. I was not invited to it, but uh, it, it looks like a coffee mill. Like you know how when you're grinding your coffee in your coffee mill, yeah. you have a big old funnel. Yeah. That's where you put the you cartridges the and you crank it and yeah. it shoots. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is. It is. It is. Bigger than a rifle, but smaller than a cannon. But you kind of have to put it in a cannon carriage. So I don't know how this is actually. I mean, that's got to be. War. That can't be something that we got our soldiers carrying around. That's a no, that's, that's a piece be, of stationary. It's a, yeah, it's like an artillery piece. Yeah, you're not artillery. Gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. But it shoots we'll see how fast. It, okay, but it shoots all right, fast. We'll, we'll see how see it plays out. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, how it we'll plays we'll out. we'll see, bud. We'll see. Uh, over the 22nd through the 26th, uh, there would be some minor skirmishes in western Virginia along Frankfurt, Patterson's Creek, and Reiter. No substantial fighting, no substantial casualties reported on either side. This is essentially just uh, scouts 
taking a couple of pop shots at each other or, yeah. you know, like uh, like the pickets, like running into each other going, ah, you're in my line and shooting at yeah, each other. Yeah, or, like, I mean, it might also be uh, some, some of the locals there. Uh, locals there fighting, yeah. Fighting be... back against the, the Confederates moving in because that that's the friendly portion of Virginia that we yes, like. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, There's a lot of the yes. crap portion of Virginia that is that we just don't like. dirty, dirty rebels that want to end America. They want to end America. You're right, Johnny. Uh, this is a rather uneventful short week, Johnny, uh, but it is going to come to the end. I was already coming to the end on the 27th. Well, this is part of a little bit longer when the federal troops will attempt to land troops at Matthias Point on the Potomac River to get those dirty, dirty batteries from the dirty, dirty rebels knocked down. So between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., James H. Ward of the flagship USS Thomas Freeborn uh, and the USS Reliance is going to land a small party of around 50 men under Lieutenant James Chaplin. The plan was to land this party, set up a battery of their own, and use that to uh, to dissuade the Confederate batteries that are there. Okay. All the right, US so we're, we're going to go in and try to... Dislodge them. Dismantle them, yep. basically. Yeah, we're, we're attacking. Uh, the Let's USS uh, the USS Freeborn is going to begin shelling Confederate positions um, uh, right around 1 p.m. While the USS Reliant okay. is going to get some rowboats, release some rowboats with those 50 nice. men. Uh, while the yep. they are shelling those positions, those 50 men are supposed to be unloading cannons that are also on those rowboats. But in the uh, process, cannons on rowboats? Yeah, yeah, cannons on those boats. Yep. That's so got to be counterproductive to rowing. Yeah, it's not the, yeah, the, it's not the easiest back, thing, right? Like that's, well, they're not they're not shooting the cannons. Issues. Yeah, they're not shooting the cannons from the robots. Oh, they're using okay. the cannons okay. to get to get on there. Okay, all, all, right, right. all right. I yeah, thought they're maybe they were firing as no, they no, 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 and no, 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 no. Yeah, that's gonna okay. yeah. You, you fire the opposite way. You, it might become like a speedboat. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh, those, uh, but while they're trying to set up this new artillery piece on the on the shoreline, they're going to be attacked by 500 Confederates, which is greatly outnumbering the 50. Uh, the battery fire That's a from lot. yeah, the battery fire from the Freeborn is going to keep the Confederates at bay enough to allow uh, um, uh, Ward to attempt to or Chaplin, Lieutenant James Chaplin, to attempt to try to retreat. Uh, Ward is not happy with this progress as they do it again. Unload those guns and get at it, even though I'm only giving you 50 men because. Try That's again with got. your one to ten uh, <laughs> yeah, right. odds here. Like as that. yeah, as Ward is attempting to sight in guns on the USS Freeborn, uh, he's going to get shot in the belly and die after about forty-five minutes of ex what I can imagine is oh, excruciating pain. That's got to be awful. Forty-five minutes of after being shot it just, in just, the belly. Yeah, That's in the belly. Bad. Yeah. That's, That's you're bad. just you're bleeding out. Right, I assume he just bled yeah, out. He's, I'm assuming and he's just yeah. And his organs are like, all right, we're done. Bye. We're done. Uh, after Ward is oh, shot and yeah, after Ward is shot and killed, the Freeborn decides to cease firing uh, because they just don't. The commanding officer's dead. They now don't know what to do. They're like, uh, stop. All right, that's so, why. That's why you go for the officer, right? Like yeah, when you're fighting a war, is because he's the one giving direction. And if you can stop direction, you can win a battle. Win a battle. So this is going to lead Chaplin to basically have to fend for himself while he's trying to retreat. Chaplin is going to bravely save one sailor who is wounded and cannot swim out to the rowboats by himself. So Chaplin carries him out to the rowboats and throws him in. All right. And he gets off on the Good last boat you. while they retreat. Metal. Uh, they are going to retreat uh, without any of that artillery support from the Freeborn, uh, but the casualties are extremely light. Um, both landings fail, surprisingly, because the Confederates actually outnumber the Union, which is going to be rare, I think. Uh, moving forward, but in this particular field, Why would of, it be of battle, I mean, I mean, we're more we attacking have way their, more. Their we have way more. Pe we, rare, have way, rare, we have way more people than the Confederates do, but I mean, maybe. Well, not. right, but when we, I mean, we're also attacking their land, and, True. and I'm guessing yeah. they're going to use their everybody. And, yeah, maybe, maybe even right. Like slaves they got to yeah. because they don't have a choice. Like they, 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 they have their military. They've already instituted a draft, right? Have they not? Oh yeah, they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, they're already desperate for people. The war hasn't even started. They have to recruit everybody. They're gonna have, man. They're gonna have kids fighting this thing. I'll bet. They're, I bet you they will. The Union's gonna lose one man, which is which is Ward, uh, and they're gonna lose four wounded and no reported casualties on the Confederate side. Also on the twenty seventh. No reported casualties. Nothing. No report not even no an reported. injury. No, no maybe they the maybe they should have fired those cannons from those rowboats. Yeah, or at least had some target practice or something. This is what what, what I'm something. learning is that we need some better uh, better better training on our guys. I, uh, yeah, that that's for sure. I I mean, after last week, we freaking attacked our own people. Yeah, we Dang. did. Yeah, we had was, a fight, a, a battle between Union companies. 
We sure and did. And now, and now this week with this, this, I mean, this is horrendous. This is, this good is, yeah, God. This, is good. this war should have been over by now. It should have been. The U. We're embarrassing ourselves. The Union. We are. We are. We are. Uh, the final note, that Johnny, that I have is on the 27th. A chief of police of Baltimore, George P. Kane, so the chief of police of Baltimore, George P. Kane, is going to be arrested by Major General Nathaniel Banks. What? As Kane's is suspected of being a Confederate sympathizer. So once again, <gasps> habeas We got corpus, traitors in our ranks. Well, yeah, but habeas corpus is thrown out of the, the just continues to be thrown out of the woodworks in Baltimore. Uh, uh, uh Still, still, you can do the chief of police is being arrested by a military entity. So civilians being arrested by a military entity without any charges being brought up against them without going to court. He's just being arrested and thrown in jail. I'm not. I'm not because they think he might be a sympathizer. Yeah, they think he might be a Confederate sympathizer. So Lincoln, can we can we get can we please can we please get that part of control? Can we get to be America again? Can we be America again? Yeah, I would love that. We'll see if we're we'll see if we turn into America next week, Johnny. All right, that's it for this week in Civil War and Hindsight. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and join us on Historic Hindsight, where we talk about Paul Revere while drinking absinthe.